Let's pretend you have a server that receives a request and that request wants to download a file. But the file you need to download is 10 gigabytes big. That's a big file. You can't just simply load that all into memory, be able to calculate out the checksums and be able to send it out easily because remember, we need something like content length. You need to know exactly how many bytes are coming down. And what if you don't even know how long this file is? What happens if you're receiving it from another server or a different protocol that doesn't even specify the length? You need a way to be able to send down data in such a way that you don't have to specify the length up front. This is called chunked encoding. And chunked encoding is actually a relatively trivial form of encoding where each HTTP body contains how many bytes are in the body and then the data bytes. And now it's your job to reassemble each one of those chunks. Another kind of neat thing about chunked encoding is at the end, you can provide what is called the trailers. Trailers allow you to add extra header fields at the end. You have to specify what header fields you would like to add at the end to begin with. So that way you can't have just infinite trailers at the end. But let's say that you want five different trailer fields, you could have them all appear at the end and they'd all be a part of the headers. If you've ever wondered why headers are asynchronous, well, this is why. To run through the basics of the chunked encoding algorithm, it's pretty simple. You're gonna have your status line, you're gonna have your headers, and then you're gonna have a body in which is gonna have a hexadecimal number that is gonna be the amount of bytes that this message contains. So you're gonna have another registered nurse right here, then you're gonna have your data, and you're gonna receive multiple of these style of messages where you're gonna keep on sending more and more of the data down, and eventually, at some point, you're gonna receive a message that is gonna have a zero for the length, which is gonna contain an empty data field. This is the last and closing chunk of a chunked encoding. That way you don't need to know how much data you have, you simply need to just be able to keep on receiving data and storing the data in an appropriate manner.